is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video hopefully you guys at home are having a fantastic day the boys have arrived Sheesh. Early. You got er early, early morning nowhere, buddy dude. how you doing wonderful how are you i'm hanging in there we are hopefully gonna kill some birds hopefully your expectations aren't super high because i'm not I, I hadn't hunted out here for a few days I, I, it should be good but i know y'all been like with guides and stuff yeah, don't don't expect that from, don't expect that from me i'm not <laughs> i'm not guide quality okay yeah, uh, slayed them you slayed them yesterday okay well then i mean at least you guys killed some birds <laughs> yeah. I, i'm not what's going on there we got strobe item sir what, <laughs> what, wait what's the deal with that thing why is that thing kicking on and off anyways uh, yes we are at the farm and Braden Price and the crew. What, what's your name? Julius. Nice to meet you. Same to you, man. Back here, well, we got you got another feller back here. Oh, How's it going, man? I'm Andrew. Christian. Nice to meet you, Christian. Nice to meet you. The boys. Yeah, that's Luke. The boys came down. Oh wow. Hey, there's the light. This is great filming life. It would just stay on. I'm not exactly sure what the strat is, but look, we got a brand new door in there. We got a man door. We got a sliding door for all the gear. But boom, we got this. Sir. Okay, that's. Someone's got to fix that, because that's... Is it... Mo okay, I think it's motion sensor, maybe. Anyways, we got the side-by-side -side rigged up and ready to rock and roll. This is the duck side-by-side. -side. Remember, we are actually giving this sucker away if you're part of the Shirt of the Month, Duck Shirt of the Month Club. Every single month that you are signed up is an additional entry to win this guy. It's like a $40,000 side-by-side. -side. Uh, but we brought it down here because it's got all the lights, the gadgets, the gizmos. It's designed for waterfowl. You'll see we'll have it all, all the way, like, way down and rigged up today and ready to rock. We got Lucy, Brayden, his crew. We got Luke. We are headed out to the marsh here at the farm and we are hopefully going to get some birds down on the ground so you guys stay tuned all right couldn't let you go all this way without getting you a gift dude look at that the ducks merch got the ducks merch actually what's believe it or not i got it in yesterday uh -huh. it was for me personally and i was like you know what it needs to go to a better home really so we got fresh off the press dude look at that package is that package is pretty sick man we got some brand new stuff for you so yeah, you don't, have to, don't feel like you have to wear it today but i just want to make sure you guys are <laughs> hunting in comfort when oh, you guys 100%. get back when you guys get back I appreciate home it, so. dude. Hell yeah. That is awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna wear the piss out of this stuff. There you go. Dude, this is crazy having a door. Hey, look at the shop, bro. Sheesh. This is crazy. Like, literally a full-blown. Look at this guy. So what happens when you hire the right people and don't hire BFK Construction LLC? We don't need to use it today, but that's badass. We got everything all locked up. Look, they did use our door, the door we built. See, they just put it right on the back, so we're good to go. All right, decoys. What are we thinking here? Bye. Oh, you got a rabbit. Excuse me. Friend? There's a rabbit. Shit. No, he, he run. Oh, he's gone. He's gone now. He oh, was yeah. stuck in the corner. He's our friend. All right, deep boys. For sure, these bad boys right here. And then probably these bad boys right here. Oh, God, yeah. Lucy, you gonna do a good job, girl? <laughs> 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 you gotta get it out first. Damn, Lucy. Stink. All right, so I think we're gonna sit kind of right behind yep. us, and I've just got little panel blinds so we can set up. We'll go grass them up. Oh, oh you no, you did not. <laughs> oh no! Hey, Flair, get the winch. <laughs> Down. He's down. That's Sheesh! Did you guys get the high guy or no? I got that guy I over there. Shoot, but I missed two shots and got that one. I say I saw the one floater over there. Hey, there's one more in front. Oh, here, good shooting, boys. These little suckers were quick. Well, we got two down. One went back in the bushes. That one's gonna be a tough one to find. The other one's dead in the water. And Brayden, you said you got that guy on the water. I folded him. Folded him, he says. Well, Lucy, I got a surprise for you, buddy. This guy, you gotta bring it back. The sucker's got your name on it. There's a dead bird out there. Ready? Catch that bird, Lucy. Oh, you're just gonna drag all the decoys with. Buddy, where's that bird? Get that bird, right there. Go get it, fetch, fetch. Lucy, fetch. She sees it now. You sure you don't wanna walk in this mud? I mean, oh, <laughs> yeah, I should've just left Lucy home. Imagine if I was like, yeah, we don't have a dog. We just gotta go grab. <laughs> you better have that jerky ready when she gets back. Lucy. Hey, come here, girl. She saw it. Lucy, yeah. oh, what the? Is it? You bring it back to the blind when I'm not in the blind. She put it on your blind bag. Lucy, hey. You want a treat? You want a treat? What's that? What's that? Sit. <laughs> oh, oh, are you? Okay, you just threw it. There you go, buddy. Go, girl. All right, baby. We got first bird retrieved. Oh, 
we might just have to let them rip because I don't think they're gonna land. There's just not. We don't have any wind, and they're they're taking all the time they want. <laughs> well, we just had a couple hundred birds. They were locked too, locked. Yeah, they but they just. I think there's just not enough wind, and they just weren't sure about something. I mean, we don't look amazing back here. I mean, we could always flush this up with the bank, and we could there just so there's not like a bigger gap here. I don't know. They didn't flare though. Like they did not look like they saw us one bit. They just didn't want it. Didn't want it. They might have been gaddies. I've seen that a lot with those guys before. But all I know is birds are in the area. We might just need a little smaller group or something to come by so we can convince them to come hang out with us. My dad hunted this a couple days ago and he said that. He's like, I saw thousands. I was like, why didn't you kill any? And he's like, I don't know, they wouldn't come in. Let me see, what are you doing, bro? I mean, you guys honestly look good in the shadows like that. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> it's a lot more comfortable. I don't think there's anything we can do oh, at but this point. I'm chilling back here. Can you open up that chocolate milk though? All right. Get flopping in. I was trying to hold out, but you know, I guess we need to kill some birds. Oh yeah, me and oh, Christian drank oh, yeah. got on it this morning. They smell it and they'll fucking dump. Don't spill any, we're gonna eat it all. <laughs> if I knew that's what it took to kill birds, I would've bought a couple gallons and poured it out in the decoys. <laughs> hey! No, those are ducks. Those are ducks? Yeah, those are all ducks. 100% those are all ducks. <laughs> this might do it. Step Dude, you think these birds have been hunting every single day like since season started in their practice? We suck, dude. <laughs> birds ain't working. They ain't doing nothing. I mean, I'm happy we, we're seeing birds. It makes yeah. me feel a little better, but the fact that we're not killing them doesn't yeah, make yeah, me feel yeah. very good. They're not even quite low enough to poke, uh, even like those, if we wanted to get stupid with it. I mean, there's hundreds of mallards. Hey, yeah, you got, you got birds. Dude, there's there's, doing it. there's <laughs> birds. Here. We just need to put a really big fan behind us and make it look like there's yeah, wind. There I think go. we'll be get all right. <laughs> every morning, I'm telling you, the wind is just... Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that's what it is, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we gotta move the decoys. I'm usually not that guy. I really am not. I'm not a decoy mover. But when you don't know if there's any, like, there's no other reason why these suckers are doing this. So let's go move some decoys. They've, they've circled us 15, 20 times Six, already. 69, I counted. I'm not in the position for this. We just kind of moved the tight oh, one over. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hey, Joey, don't flink the barrel of that gun. We got the camera on it. Decoys have been moved. Watch them just dump. All right, Lucy, it's your big day. Find that dead bird. Come on. Bird out. Find that dead bird. You guys miss like. Where's that dead bird? Fix that bird. Oh, she might be on it. She's on it. She's on it. Where's that bird? Where's that bird at? There it is, bro. Look it. No way. Dude, she's a beast, bro. She's a beast. I told you. I can tell when she gets on it. Because it, it probably landed there and then walked. I knew it. That's insane. Yes, sir. Good girl, Lucy. Sheesh. That didn't take long. Couldn't even see it. She just dug it up. There you yeah. go. Check that out, boys. Yeah, at least you got some for cash and cook. We got two. Two Be birds. Beaten, all right. I have about four poppers. <laughs> four poppers it is. <laughs> you think I'm cheeks? No, you're good. He says, if Brayden's Look. like, Brayden tells me, he goes, you know, you always act like you're this big waterfall guy. I saw it firsthand. You guys are really good at CGI, you know, cinematic <laughs> editing, and it's all in, all in post gets done. But you got two. We got two. Okay. I mean, it's better than none. You can see the wind's ripping now, thank God, but now the birds aren't flying. I don't know. This is probably, I mean, I'm sure it's happened before in my life, but it's probably one of the only times in my life that there's been consistent consistent large groups of birds over and over and over and not a single one landed or got within shooting range like it was like they were all on the same page they all understood the assignment to just absolutely 
with us and not actually <laughs> land. They were all like, okay, we're gonna buzz them again for the 69th time and we're not gonna get quite low enough to shoot. Maybe one of us will get low enough, but we know they're not gonna shoot the one because they're greedy. And now they're gone. Anyways, we're gonna go pick these guys up, pick up the decoys, head back to the house. We are gonna do a little catch clean cook action so you guys will see us make some little poppers for lunch. The boys are headed back to the house. We gotta give them the grand tour of all the animals and all that stuff like that. But I apologize, it was not as oh, good as I, a guide I, hunt. Oh. You had a good time, that's all that matters. It wasn't as good as a guide hunt in Kansas. We, we did what we could do. If it makes you feel any better, Banjo was hunting his place, didn't shoot nothing, and my dad was hunting the duck lease, and he didn't see a single bird. So if anything, of all my properties, I think we picked the best spot. It just was still dog. Anyways, go ahead and pick these decoys up. We'll see you guys back at the house. Stay tuned. Well, I was taking a taking a wee out there in the bush. Why the hell did I just come from Canada all of a sudden? Well, there's a rabbit. I might have peed on him, but I don't think he left. I'm sitting here thinking, man, hey, there's like an old car right there, and he's in there. So we'll just we'll just go to each side of it. Yo, it's a rabbit I saw in the barn earlier. You remember that? Oh, it's Rick. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot each other. So I'm peeing right here, and he ran this way. So I'm gonna, I'll go over there. Okay. If I was you guys, rip. Kick her into four wheel drive. I'd probably stand because you, you can still swing and shoot. Yeah. Get to where like you can cover half the field and I'll go on the other half. If we can't get her out, we'll get Lucy. Oh, no, I got him! He got him! <laughs> you got him! Bro! Bro, she, he's flying! <laughs> so she's flying! Bro, I got Oh my god, we got him! Like hard. Bro, that thing was flying! Right? Flying! Bro, the long range choke is not the move. <laughs> <laughs> Give that work, bro. Holy Dude, cow. we got lunch now. Yeah, I got lunch, baby. Sheesh. Bro, good little, shooting. Little rabbit, dude. Little harvest for lunch, buddy. All right. That's gonna be great Sheesh. for lunch. Sheesh. Bro, I was over there Duck peeing hunt. and I'm like, why don't we go shoot that sucker? Duck hunt turned into a rabbit hunt, son. <laughs> that'll, that'll, that'll eat. That'll eat, no yeah. doubt. That's actually a nice rabbit. Dude, yeah, thick. Honestly, that's, a, that's a thick boy. That is, bro. Sheesh. That's gonna cook up good. That's gonna cook up real good. Too bad Kendall's not here. He'd be all, he'd be <laughs> all <laughs> oh, oh, Gray would be having it, dude. What'd you think, Lucy? Well, hopefully there's not too much shot in it. There you go. I know, I think you, on, hit, you hit it just right. I think you barely Come on, Lucy. Sheesh. Come on, Lucy. Get him. Jump. Oh, oh. Jump. Alright. <laughs> well, what? we got lunch now. Now we'll see you guys back at the house. Shoo! Well, folks, we are here. We are ready to do some grocery shop. Gotta get the ingredients for Braden's Rabbit. We are gonna try hard on this guy. We are gonna try to make it taste delicious. So, we'll see you guys inside. You ever had rabbit? Possibly. Thought about calling Kendall Gray and I was like, you know, I've seen his cooking before. <laughs> I'm not sure we need to take any notes from him, but we, we came up with a recipe. We Googled it. So have you ever used an Instapot? No. Do you like cooking or no? Uh, steaks. I can cook some steaks. That's about it. Instapot probably help with that. If you ever want to cook like wild game, yeah. get you an Instapot. They're life changing. Okay. We looked at recipes. It'll cook the rabbit in four minutes. No shot. Four. No shot. Four. We need mushrooms. Let's just do yeah. the veggies first, right? Okay. So we're doing like a mushroom cream sauce over some pasta. I'm just making sure we're not passing anything. We're trying on this one. We're gonna try to make it taste absolutely fire. Super hot. I, I mean, I've only had rabbit like once or twice. Oh, and we gotta get stuff for a popper. We'll get some jalapenos, which they probably don't have. We might be rocking the green bell pepper strat because I don't think they have jalapenos. Kind of one of them stores that's like yeah. may or may not have milk, you know? Okay, so I mean, that looks like it'll do. One should do. One should do. Perfect. That it? Okay. That's, the juice? that's it. Oh, right here. Mushrooms. Bet. You guys big mushroom guys? Right. See, I'm not, but when I make them in like a thing of sauce, they're not that bad. We've got some mushrooms. Okay. What else was on it, Luke? Carrots, onions. We need noodles. Was there onions? There was onions, right? You got onions in this joint? Really? You don't have onions? Are you serious? Bruh. We put the time into finding a good recipe. Now they don't have any ingredients that we Hey, how's it going? Uh, hi. How are you? Good. Oh, that's good. Uh, What's your name? Chance. Nice to meet you, Chance. You gonna say hi to everybody? Hi. What are you, what are you doing? Just hanging out? Uh, yeah. You getting some food? Yeah. What are you getting? Anything good? Yeah, stuff. Some stuff? Yeah, me too. You wanna take a picture? Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. Oh, we got onions. Onion. Okay, so I had to stop. That, was, that kid was awesome. Oh, oh, see, onions. onions are above my level of skill. So. I know these suckers make you cry, but that's fine. Onions work. and mushrooms. What else would you put in that? Is that it? They can just veggie strat right now. Ingredients, ingredients. Okay. Olive oil, got. Salt, got it. Black pepper, got. Onion, boom. Mushrooms, boom. Pancetta. Pancetta cubes. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> Alright, where's pancetta? There's no way this store has pancetta, bro. They barely had onions. Dude, just honestly, put bacon in it. Let's get this for the poppers and for the rabbit that stew like meals. Best. All right, bet. No one likes pancetta anyways. Okay, dried oregano. Probably got that at home. Pepper, you got that at home. Chicken stock. We should probably grab some. And then half and half. Probably should grab some of that. Here's half and half. Bet. Wow, that feels open. Well, that, 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 I don't know. Take both of those up and tell me which one's more full. 
<laughs> Why is that one half empty? <laughs> because it's half and half. <laughs> oh, you only get half. Oh, so this is the first half and that's the second half. I grabbed it. That thing's half empty. Um, cream cheese? Oh, no, that ain't. I have cream cheese at home, but I don't want to roll the dice. I've bought cream cheese here, but again, odds they have it today. Cream cheese. This oh. Won't you be enough? Oh, okay. Chicken stock, which I probably have, but I'm going to get some just in case. And then noodles. Find the noodles. Where you find noodles, you find the chicken stock. Chicken broth. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's get Big, da Big Daddy. I think we got it all. I'll see you guys back at the house. Really? Sick! Oh, no way. I think no way. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, you call it. One, two, three. Oh, oh rip. what the heck? One, two, three. Bro, what the <laughs> heck? Is it? Why does this thing suck? Might need to warm them up. Let's do a couple practice laps. Control. I was like, I better jump on. Where can I get one? I don't know. We got to figure out how to get you on them. <laughs> Bro, this thing's sick. You're, you're a fan of the mini Jeep. It definitely does not steer the best. No, no. You're steering. All the weights in the back so your front tires don't grab. Yeah. All right, so if you were to be Braden Price and you were going to soup this sucker up, what would you do? Hit the windshield, light bar. What else? Come is it possible to lift big tires or no? Is that, just add, is that out of my league? Probably is out of my league, yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you we can do it. Oh, okay. It just might be a little trouble. That's fine. Bro, it looks like a brand new machine. Oh, it's brand new. I bought them new. So they're, they're brand new to come like this? Yeah. No. He, he ships them from China China in a crate, puts them together and sells them. What? Oh. It's brand new. Like, we got this like four days ago. The day I called you. Really? Yeah, that's when we got them. Bro, ain't no way. You can move <laughs> you them up now. Nice. When are we going hunting out of them? That's what we said. We got to take it. This is a new hunting buggy. The hunting rig. Imagine dragging a big old buck back with this stuff. <laughs> like, we said two of them, like a dog yeah. sled. Cross two the of them going, just like dragging it. I'm down. Definitely I think could awesome. put one across the hood, yeah, too. Yeah, 100%. You need to get some. It's the juice. Spare tire and all. You, you think you need to get one then? I want to see what one. you could do with them. See, I, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'd like to see somebody who knows they're doing. Definitely dang. make it a, I snorkel it. Oh! Make it, make it in the pond. No! 100%. Dude. Oh, okay, that would be happy. That'd be super sick. And you got a hell of a bumper on the front. Oh yeah. I wanna, put a, I wanna put a snow plow on and plow my driveway with it. I'm telling you, if you just start ramming each other with these things, that'd be a lot of fun. You think, yeah. you think so? <laughs> well, we took it off a jump and broke it, it's so got, I don't think it's, it's worth much. It's got disc brakes on it. Yeah, no dude. shot. This is legit. That ass. No, they scoot though. They really do scoot. That's awesome. <laughs> If he slams on the brakes, it'll spin out, so I probably should tell him that. I was wearing a helmet when I crashed it, too. I should have got him one of those. Well. Tractor's like go-kart. That's from Tractor Supply. Dude, tune it up a little bit. There's a bolt that keeps you from mashing the pedal down. Uh -huh. Take that out. Yeah. And then there was like a little bolt screw that, you know, kept it from uh -huh. opening up. Well, I take that out. Tied the throttle cable. No shot. You're good to go. You're the ATV I, guy. I didn't even know you You're had the this. the ATV guy. Didn't so. even know Flair had this. You've also got the 90, you know, in case you want that. But you got the 650 as well. The 650. I mean, have you ever wheelied one? No. Maybe I should teach you. God. Could be the move. I want to see you wheelie it. Okay. okay. <laughs> Easy enough. He says, okay. Oh. Oh! 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 We take off the hitch! Now you're good as gold. Ready to clean some rabbits and birds? Shit! Dude, I haven't killed a rabbit in like four years. You show up and bam! <laughs> we can't kill ducks, but here we are with Mr. Furry. So, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, this is where the part ends, and we'll see you guys in the kitchen. But, if you watch this on Uncut, and you get to see my attempt at cleaning a rabbit. I hadn't done that for a while. I'll see you guys in the kitchen, or if you're watching this on Uncut, stay tuned. Shoo! Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the duck breast ready to rock and roll. Got these cleaned up. We're gonna go and cut these suckers right. Well, hang on, hang on. Wait a minute, something ain't right. Do we cut how we cut the pepper? Should we cut the pepper first? Because if you cut the pepper long and you want to make the duck long, if you want to cut the pepper short, then you may cut that first. Cut the pepper short first. Wow, English is done. Cut the pepper first. Boom. Go ahead and take out this stuff because I don't think anyone really likes eating that. Is that your popper or is that your popper? Is that your popper? You tell me. It's gonna be a lot of pepper. I can go even small. I mean, I can do that. Is there, I think that's it, Chief. So if we're doing it like this, and you're gonna wrap. Think about how I'm gonna wrap this bacon probably like that the jalapenos make life a lot easier because they're shaped better so let's just go ahead and cut this sucker right in half this little meat oh hang on wait a second boom ducks all meat seasoning we got to get the got to get them seasoned get that meat seasoned. no one likes unseasoned meat so go ahead and season those bad boys up pack them in get the old flip flop like that season the other side oh here it goes you you know it yep yep 
Oh, I fought that one, dude. Hell yeah, it's a dub. Let's first go. Guy, first. We got the meat. Stick that sucker. Oh, hang on. We got to get the cream cheese in there. Just like that. Go ahead and slide it on that pepper. Wow, that's some thick cream cheese. Good enough. And get your meat like that. Then take your bacon. I'm guessing we're going to go with a half a slice. Go ahead and wrap it like that. Bingo. Bango. And then, normally we don't even have the luxury of having toothpicks, but here we are. We got some toothpicks. And get your toothpick. Boom. That it. Boom. That is your not jalapeno green pepper wannabe delicious bite. And you can even give her a little after seasoning too, right on that bacon. Sheesh. So there's your popper. We're gonna go ahead and make up a few more of these guys and get them on the grill. Stay tuned. Shoo, here we go. We got a bunch of little poppers here. Throw them right on the grill, just like that. And I know all you haters out there talking shit on the panini press all the time. I'm telling you, this will cook the best popper you ever darn did put in your mouth. That bacon crispy. Get that meat perfectly medium, and the pepper will be tender, just like that. Before, before you shut it, just got real quick, real quick, gotta hit them with a little bit of this. Bam! There you have it, folks. We got them on the grill, let them cook up till the bacon's crispy, take them off. It's enjoying. Now, these are appetizers. Main course, this little fella right here. Oh, he met his end when Braden got a hold of the old 12 gauge. Let it eat. So, these guys are cooking. Get to preparing the rabbit, stay tuned. Shoo, here we go. We got the instant pot. We're gonna make this thing, I always like give this thing credit, but I've literally only hit the moot, wow, moot. Meat stew mode. I haven't messed with the soup broth, the bean chili, the cake, egg cake, fake cake mess on, no way. Egg slow cooking sauce. Saute. Well, we're hitting saute now. We're gonna saute this rabbit. So here's some olive oil. They said two tablespoons. Looks about right to me. How are these doing? Pretty good. Sheesh. Those are looking pretty darn good. Yes. Yeah. That bacon's got a little ways to go. Should be good. I don't know if this thing's even working. I think it, oh yeah, it says on. Well, I guess we gotta let this thing heat up and then we'll get the rabbit on. We'll just do that for a second here. These poppers, they're popping. How's that go? Pretty done. Oh God. Oh, oh, she's browned on one side. Sheesh. Why do we keep Googling recipes? I think like they're not the strap. No idea. Okay, how are these poppers? I feel like I'm doing a million things here. Let's see, what we got? Boom, bingo, sure. I can leave these guys for a second. For sure dealing with it right there. We'll let those guys cool off and stick this meat in our mouth. Stay tuned. We gotta see what else we got going on here. Yeah. Chop the mushrooms, onion, and pancetta, then get that. We got bacon, but I think we're, are we throwing that out? Yeah, throw it out. Because otherwise you have to cook the bacon. Yeah, don't How do much that. time do you think I got? Add these to the pot once you've taken out the rabbit meat and saute for a few minutes, though so it will not be innate. Wow, okay. Cut some of these veggies is what you're telling me. Onion and mushroom. And then we've got our noodles for our pot of water that's almost ready to boil. And there we go. So we'll cut those guys off to the side for now. Time to chop some veggies. Anyone know how to properly cut an onion? Apparently, the end. Yeah. That's what makes you tear up. Yeah, that's why I cut it. I'm, oh, I'm dead. No, God. It's already <laughs> I'm, I'm dead. Take these suckers. Boom, bang, bop. Oh, rip. Imagine you like that? Sheesh. Onions. Bam. Throw those bad boys in there. Honestly, that's probably enough. We don't think we need any more of that. Now, we've got some mushrooms we're gonna cook up. Are you mushroom guy or no? Not really. Me neither. To be honest. How would you cut a mushroom? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I feel like when you eat, like, it's like that, right? I don't think normal. it even matters. Does that look normal? I mean, it's more so for flavoring, because I don't think yeah. you're, just, I don't like you're even gonna eat them. No. I no, probably not. I don't think like anyone here likes mushrooms. No one here likes mushrooms, so these are just for aesthetics at this point. <laughs> just make it look like we know what we're doing here. There's your mushrooms. These are getting all sauteed up. All right, salt that water. God, that's a lot of noodles. There's no way we're going through all these bad boys. It'll be like mac and cheese. We're going to be eating it all week. All right, here we go. How's our sauteing going? Sheesh. I think it's doing all right. Onions and mushrooms are getting sauteed. The noodles are getting boiled. What's the next step? I think i got to put that rabbit back in that sucker. Saute for five minutes before adding paprika and oregano. Rip. I need to go grab all that. All right, we got paprika and oregano. I don't really know how much, but... I don't think you can go wrong at this point. Oregano. Woo, that's strong. That's, that doesn't taste bad. That, and now chicken broth. I think we're supposed to go chicken stock, but going in. Well, boys, I think our poppers are cooled off. So as soon as I get this broth in there, oh, yeah. I think we're in business. Toss the lid on. Tell you, you take your pick. This one's calling my name. Is that the deal? Yeah, this one's calling my name. I don't know why, but it is. We're gonna let you burn your mouth. 
This shouldn't be too hot, right? That's the juice. Really? No way. Is it juice? It's the juice. Is it good? A little too much pepper for me, but. A little, little much. The, 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 I'm telling you, the jalapeno strat threw us way off because oh, my yeah. pepper ratios, I couldn't get the pepper ratios right. But the meat and the bacon, your fan. Oh, yeah. You got right? Good. Even it not being a jalapeno spire. I'm telling you, the pepper ratio is a little off, but Let's dude, the that. flavor's unreal. The flavor's, I, I feel like I taste the seasoning. Taste oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. Whole thing? Mm hmm. That's, that's the juice. Mm -hmm. That makes me want to go shoot more ducks. The flavor is there. Like, I want to go shoot more flair. Got an evening set or what? I, mean, I gave you my juice and it was not juice. So we might be waiting for the next cold front now. Next cold front? Yep. We can wait. We'll be back. How's January sound? Yeah, they should be here in January. Everything should be frozen in January. Except my pond. I'll, keep, I'll keep my pond open. What'd you rate it out of 10? Seven. Seven's not bad for just a little you know, green pepper whip ups, you know? So I'll take it. There's the pepper that took off the three. I've never had duck before this year. Oh, you have oh, it? Oh, I have oh, bro. It. Uh, this is a good one to have. Do it. I'm telling you. I was going to say, awesome. that one, yes, I, I was eyeing that one. That oh, was really? The, yeah. No, 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 for you. Like, that's okay. going to be a good one. That's going to be a really good one. Oh, gosh. Okay, here we go. Let's see it's, it. It's a juicy one. Bro, I'm telling that's, you, it's that's good, good, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's good. That is really good. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's the juice. A lot of flavor. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm. flavor's there. Bro, with, with the, the cheese, the bacon, the duck, the pepper, dude, it's solid. Chef Flair, dude. Chef, Chef Flair. Flair. Absolutely <laughs> good. <laughs> so good, dude. Thank you. Sheesh. I mean, she's boiling. And it don't smell bad. Let's see if this meat comes off. I mean, it looks cooked. What do you think? It looks cooked to me. You will let that do its thing. I mean, it's cooked. It, it's a little tougher than I would have expected for Instapot. It doesn't look raw or nothing like that. So I think we're good. Question is, so you're supposed to add the cream to that and make your cream sauce with that. It's a lot. I got an idea. Give her one of these. Get the veggies, because that's that's the flavorful part. We got to find something more efficient. But that thing's hot. You can't grab that. Okay. I bet that's probably enough. Let's kick this sucker up. And then cream. We got some half and half. I think they just... Oh, hang on now. I think they just mix it until like, till it's cream. They got it. And then I think you add cornstarch or flour to thicken it up is what they called for there. Add a little bit more. I don't know how much they called for. Do you remember on that one? No idea. Give her a stir. I mean, it looks like Alfredo. Let's see if we can grab some flour and thicken that sucker up. All right, we got some flour. A couple tablespoons of flour to get that sucker thick. Anything like that. Dude, this looks pretty legit. I don't know. Let's thicken it up a little more than that. Make it a little creamy. I feel like it's just gonna taste like really bad batter. Like just, I think that was a lot of, a lot of flour. Honestly, it's good. Really? Yes, it is good. It's a little thick, so I'm just gonna add just a little bit more of broth, but it's good. It does not taste like flour or nothing. I think that's about right. Throw our noodles in. Now we're talking. It's like mac and cheese, basically, right? And we add some meat. Dude, I feel like this is like turned out decent now. So the question is, do you should I try to debone it and then just like mix all the meat in and we eat it kind of like, like a meaty mac and cheese style, or probably what I, would I can do. I can start ripping some meat off and just start mixing yeah, it. Yeah, that's there. what I would do. Okay, you can just pour the noodles over that if you're feeling. You ready to try some rabbit? Oh, 100 percent. You gonna try it just like that, or do you want to wait for the noodles and sauce? It's ready to rock and roll. It's ready to give her a go. The meat tastes fine. It reminded me like dark meat chicken. Yeah. Like it didn't taste bad. I think the Instapot did fine. Yeah, I think that's good. I mean, it's not mm -hmm. my preferred meat, but it didn't taste bad. Mm -hmm. It's a little tough. Yeah, I really did think it would be not that tough. Yeah, out of the it's, Instapot. it's a little, it's a little tough. I think we might maybe undercooked it in the Instapot a little bit, but the instructions I had like couldn't, I couldn't cook it the way Buddy cooked it. I don't know. He wanted four minutes and I couldn't figure out how to get it set to that. We're just going to peel this off. I just want to mix it with, I mean, we basically made mac and cheese. That's what we did. We added some noodles. I didn't know we are having mac and cheese. I mean, it's not cheesy, but it, it's similar. So some new some shell noodles. Okay. Mix a little meat in there. Some of this meat off right here. A little rabbit backstrap action. Yeah, see how dry that is? See, I don't like you would think like, oh, that's overcooked, but they only cooked it for like seven or eight minutes. Maybe that is overcooked. I don't know. That's why you add some sauce. Maybe is rabbit normally dry, as anyone know? Did I just mess this up? I feel like it's not awful. There we go. That's a good chunk. It's like just deboning the chicken. Yeah, there's quite a bit of meat off this little sucker. Yeah. And he was a big chungus, but like really more meat than I kind of expected. Alright, now take the meat. I mean, there's plenty more, but we're just doing this just to try it. Send that meat meat right on in. Bingo bango. Let me add a little bit more hiraju here, buddy. Sticking it up, I think, as it cools. This definitely looks like something you'd get at either like a French restaurant or some type of, some bougie fancy something. It looks better than maybe it'll taste, but all right. So now you're ready to try that blaming down of rabbits. Dude, just, that looks good. Minus the rabbit hair I just pulled out. It looks <laughs> fire. That's it right there, buddy. That's it. That's it. Check that out. I told you we were going fancy. Bro, that looks good. It does look like mac and cheese with a rabbit. All right, I'm waiting on you. I'm, well, I, gotta I don't know if it's going to taste good, to be honest with you. I'm going to get a little noodle in there. Oh, got to? Mmm, dude, it's good. Seriously. Yeah, go ahead. 
for I winging it. For winging it? Mm -hmm. I don't think it was bad. The meat's just a hair chewy. You get like, a, we need to like cut it into smaller pieces, but like just the noodles really with the good. sauce. Honestly, it's not like, it could use more seasoning. It really could. Like it, yeah. It, yeah. it's very subtle. Like you can still taste like the actual rabbit flavor. That's pretty solid stuff here. Mm. But it doesn't have like a real gamey taste. Dude, no, see. there's none. It tastes like you got a little chewy dark meat chicken. Mix it in with some big shells and some sauce and some mushrooms. Get yourself some yeah, of that. Let's see what you all think right. about it, Luke. Let's see. Here we go. The noodles turned out better. I was like, dude, I'm adding all this flour. It's going to taste like cheeks, but. All right, here we go. What do you think about that guy? My rabbit's not even chewy. Oh, did you get really? a good piece? I got a good tender I, piece. I was going to say, I bet I bet it's w which piece you get. Yeah, that was good. Was that fire? Oh, yeah. That it's, was really did, good. Would you think it's like dark dark meat chicken if you didn't really know any better? Yep, I would have no idea. But the noodles are good. Like, yeah, And no the idea. sauce is good. The, the sauce mushrooms are good. is a lot better than I was expecting. Right? When I was making it, I was like, there's no way the sauce <laughs> is going to be good. Like, you could just, I'm like, all right, more flour, more flour, more flour. And I was like, there's no way. Yeah, the sauce didn't take much. No. But it added a whole oh, yeah. element to the. I would say, I mean, I haven't had a rabbit a lot. I would say this is probably one of the better meals I've ever had with rabbit. But like Braden said, we gotta figure out how to cook it and not be dry. I think that's the biggest thing, is figuring out how to how to not make it dry. And maybe I gotta cook it. Normally when it's dry, you cook it less time, but I yeah. cooked it for six minutes. Like, do you really gotta cook it less than, maybe you do gotta cook it less than six minutes. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys use Instant Pots or Crock Pots for rabbit. Is it possible to get just like super juicy and tender or is it just naturally a little dry and a little bit chewy? But I will say, although the recipe seemed like it was quite a bit of work, it all turned out good. For, it was simple ingredients. There wasn't a lot of ingredients. It was just a lot of steps. You had to sear it, and then you had to simmer it, and then you had to add it back in, and then you had to do, you know, there was like 12 steps to it, but it turned out good. I mean, you oh. can see in there, that is solid rabbit. We didn't kill that many ducks, but, you know, I would say that it was, it was, it was a success. A, a successful harvest of waterfowl, which the poppers were, poppers were good. Amazing. Poppers were good. Rabbit, I would give it probably a six and a half out of ten. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. Not, probably not quite a seven. If it wasn't chewy, I think we would be up there like the eight and a half to nine range, but overall, I feel like we we had a successful day out on the farm although like i said we did not shoot a whole bunch of waterfowl we shot stuff enough for a meal oh, yeah, so 100%. anyways you have a good time out here oh i loved it especially where, blowing up that rabbit where, where are you headed next illinois illinois we really in a minute so get... huge shout out to Braden for coming out mm -hmm. you guys what, when's your video coming out soon later it, whenever yours is going out. oh well if you guys want to go see Braden's where he filmed stuff i'll just say it this way he forced me unwillingly to get on the back of a four-wheeler with him and pop a <laughs> wheelie and ride it through my entire backyard as my wife while holding my newborn was watching me and there's a decent chance i'm sleeping on the couch tonight but that is on his video <laughs> which will be linked down below if you guys want to go check out his version it's definitely different than what we got going on over here but huge shout out to Braden price for coming out with the boys had a good time unfortunately we didn't shoot a whole lot of ducks but we got the harvest done overall had a good time so with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video we'll catch the next one and peace